Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Lolly to look at daily vlog. Yeah, so uh, I don't know how the time change affects you guys, but uh, I don't know, it's not like five o'clock in the morning, I'm wide awake, but uh, I don't really have to go to work for a couple of hours, so I'm just kind of working through uh, answering comments and stuff on YouTube, but uh, yeah, I don't know about this time change. Hopefully it means that we get more daylight, but uh, I don't know. Uh, if you want to jump right to the cruise topic, that'll be right there. And uh, but if not, track hey, along. Hey, good morning, with us. everybody. Um, we are on our countdown to the Carnival Liberty. We're gonna head out in February. Um, but yeah, today is just—it's uh, weird with this time change. <laughs> um, I'm at work extremely early, but um, that's about it. So happy Monday and let's get the day started. Yeah, you saw it right there. It was, uh, I went to work about 7 a.m. and it was still dark uh, when I left, but uh, by the time I got there, it lightened up a little bit. So I guess uh, daylight savings time is working, but uh, yeah, about 10.30. Uh, I'm back at the house, uh, gonna finish out the afternoon here. Got a, got a few projects that I'm working on, uh, but uh, gonna do it from the comfort of my own office. Hope your Monday is going well. Not sure what Jenny's into today. I think, uh, I think her and Danielle are gonna get their nails done tonight, which is exciting. Uh, but uh, yeah, just a normal uh, daily grind. Yeah, other than that, just doing what we do. Buddy, so uh, I've been, uh, Packing on the pounds since we came back from the cruise. We lost all that weight uh, on the 100 days to Havana. So yesterday I was very diligent when I went to the store. No junk food. So I just uh, got bananas. Bananas. I got uh, apples. Apples. How do you guys like your apples? I like mine crisp. Sweet and crisp. I love that, uh, I love that Walmart does this thing where they tell you the sweet and crisp because I always get the wrong apples. But... I am so craving some carbs right now. I think uh, I think my low impulse control is going to kick in. I'm going to go and uh, get some chips. But uh, I'm trying. So uh, there's got to be some good reason for me to get chips. I think there's like a new set of Lay's uh, chips that are competing for like the new flavor. And uh, so maybe we'll have to get some of those to taste. But anyways, I'm, I'm trying. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go get some chips. Okay, well, uh, I guess I learned a lesson there. Just because they have something at Walmart doesn't mean they have it at Food Lion. Uh, I noticed at Walmart a bunch of new Lay's flavors like uh, bacon mac and cheese and jalapeno poppers. I haven't done much research. I just assume that it's the uh, the next iteration of the of the chip tasting or the chip uh, contest. So I had to go with some old standards. But uh, I do have some chips, so I'm kind of excited. Hold on, let me show you what we got. Oh yeah. All right, so one of the things we like to do when we're not just eating straight up chocolate like we did all last week with uh, with Halloween candy is get some sort of cereal that's got a little sweetness to it. This uh, Special K is pretty good. We drink it or we, uh, we eat it with like a, a non-fat uh, lactose-free milk. And so uh, that really becomes kind of a, a sweet but low-calorie snack. Uh, of course, there's nothing low-calorie about the uh, hella good dip. Uh, Jenny, I called her, she wanted just some plain chips, so uh, I figured we'd get some, uh, some dip with it, the bacon horseradish. If you never had that and you like those two flavors, that dips off the chain. Uh, let's see, we're out of coffee. Out of coffee, so a uh, little, little of the bucks. It's hard to do one-handed. 
Boom! Lactose free milk. That's a beautiful thing about getting old. You realize that, uh, you know, you are lactose intolerant. Uh, I never thought about it and then I finally stopped drinking pure dairy and it helped my tummy. So, uh, if you got tummy issues, man, try this. Uh, this lactate tastes uh, almost like regular milk and uh, it's, uh, it's great with that cereal. Of course, uh, my favorite uh, chip uh, by Utz is the crab chip. If you've never had that, that's pretty delicious. It tastes like uh, some Cajun seasoning on a chip, Old Bay, just crab boil type stuff, and then uh, some regular. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not proud of it. I mean, but we still do have uh, apples. There's still, uh, there's still bananas. There's still bananas. There's still, there's still apples. So uh, we have some healthy snacks, but you know, you gotta have a balance. So, uh, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna take you guys outside too. The other thing that's kind of crazy is, uh, so it's November the 5th or 6th, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's the, I'm gonna look at my phone cause I don't wanna say the wrong thing. November the 6th, 2.40. So uh, yeah, just to take a look at what the day turned out to be in Charlotte. Man, it is, uh, it is no joke pretty out here. Gosh, I kind of feel like uh, maybe the picture's even being washed out, but uh, it is nice. It's a balmy 77 degrees, so uh, yeah. It's November the 6th, 77 degrees. I'm sure it's gonna get colder, but right now I'll take it, man. The leaves are changing and just beautiful, so. Uh, let me finish up my day job. And then uh, I actually have some schoolwork to do. And uh, on, I bought a bunch of toys to unbox a little while ago on the uh, Rock Paper Geek, for the Rock Paper Geek channel. Uh, I was holding off, but now that we got the green screen, I might do that. So uh, still a lot to do. I'm not sure what time Jenny's coming home. Hey, what is? Where's my dinner? You don't have any dinner made. I know, it's too early. I don't have any dinner made for you tonight. Mm -mm. It's like uh, four o'clock and you're leaving me. Well, because I'm going out with Danielle. I did make you a snack. Some grilled cheese. I know, thank you. All right, well have fun with our daughter. Thank you. I guess I'll fend for myself. Oh, you can handle it, you're a big boy. You know I don't know how to cook. I guess you do, you do most of the cooking. <laughs> Can't wait to see your nails. Hey, what's up everybody? Yeah, so Jenny left me. Oh, try not to blind you guys. Jenny left me, so I'm going to, uh, I've been wanting to do something with these um, mystery uh, minis that I picked up a while ago, uh, so I just need to get them opened up. It might be fun on uh, the Rock Paper Geek channel to do uh, what I'm calling Mystery Monday, and so uh, trying to get set up, uh, first time I've recorded against the green screen with the unboxing, so uh, yeah, also running a little time lapse, I got the... Uh, DJI Osmo over there running a time lapse, so we should be able to uh, kind of get a little behind the scenes. So I don't know. That's my night. That's what happens when I'm left alone. So uh, yeah. Just finished filming the uh, what's in the box for the Star Wars mystery minis. Uh, if you want to see what was in the box, uh, I'll. Uh, put something up there for the video or there might be something uh, down in the description below or just go to my channel rock paper geek uh, Spelled like it sounds and uh, yeah, so now just uh, think I'm gonna edit some video and uh, wait for my lovely bride to come home I'm so sad Where's my girl? So just waiting for Danielle so we can go get our nails done and spend a little time together um, Maybe grab some dinner Jenny. What are you? How's your nails? Uh, they're shorter. Oh, you got the long ones taken off? I got them taken off and now I got mood nail polish. See, those are dark, those are not. Oh, yeah. now I know when you're happy and when you're sad. That's right, or when I'm hot and cold. Exactly. <laughs> I used to have to try to get if you were happy and you know it, I had to get you to clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, but now you don't have to. You can just look at my nails. That's right. <laughs> but more importantly, yes. where's my 
it's so late. I know it is. It's like late. eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. That's late for us. Oh to my eat. goodness. Where's my dinner? Your dinner's right here. I picked us up some dinner. Oh cool. What do we got? We have Subway. Oh. So I have um, just meatball hero. That's how I that's how I roll at Subway. And I got the Italian. And you got the Italian BMT with all that goodness on it. Mm. Yeah. I'm hungry. You hungry? I am. Let's eat. Let's eat. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? Jenny, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Do you know we're 96 days until we cruise on the Carnival Liberty? How exciting is that? 96 days to Nassau. And Freeport. Yeah, well, I don't know, 96 days to something. And our sea day is Valentine's Day. Aw, that's yeah. awesome. That is awesome. That's just a short period of time before our 15th wedding anniversary. 15 years you've put up with me. Wow, we're on the fives. What have I put up with you? Oh, you put up with me for sure, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, I guess if you've tracked along with us today, we've uh, had a pretty eventful day. I got your nails done. I did. Uh, the weather was warm and now it's cold. Yeah. But we thought uh, just real quick tonight we would talk a little bit uh, about uh, pictures on a cruise ship. Yeah. So we, uh, we've only cruised on Carnival, so we're most familiar with the uh, Carnival Pixels Gallery. Mm -hmm. And we have been on uh, two ships. We've been on the Carnival Fantasy and the Carnival Paradise, and they still have uh, paper pictures. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they have wall after wall of, uh, they print out all the pictures. And uh, well, let, let me take it back even further if I can. Maybe, maybe there's a new cruiser out there that doesn't know what we're talking about. So uh, when you're on a cruise ship, there are uh, a whole team of ship photographers and at almost every event, they'll take your photograph. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you embark, they take a picture. When you, uh, when you uh, jump off at a port, they take your picture. They'll take your picture around the ship in the dining room or a formal night or they have backdrops set up. So lots of picture opportunities and you know, like, Sometimes like in theme parks and stuff, they'll give you a ticket and you can go and you can see a digital representation. Well, at least on the fantasy class ships, uh, they just print all the pictures out and you kind of rummage through and find yourself on, uh, on, the, on the wall. And of course you have to buy some of them because who wants to see them shredded? Yeah, so I think they shred the, yeah, so uh, pro tip, you can't, uh, you can't really have your camera out around uh, those um, pictures because they're concerned that you might be taking a quick snap right. of your picture, which is a fair concern. They also have a uh, uh, RFID uh, in, on the picture, uh, RFID tag, a tag. It's for security. And if you walk outside of the pixel gallery uh, area without them uh, deactivating it, uh, an alarm will go off. So uh, that's pretty crazy, but what we really wanted to talk to you about uh, is the uh, wall of frame. Wall of frame. Wall of frame? Really? Clearly in the picture it says frame of fame. So yeah, uh, for the rest of the video we're going to call it the uh, wall of frame, but uh, it's a uh, frame of fame. Apologies, but we already made the video, so uh, send all hate mail to uh, Lalita Luca. Yeah, so uh, we, we posted a picture in the La Lita Loca cruising community the other day. If you're not a member, that's on Facebook, the La Lita Loca cruising community, open to anybody. We posted a picture uh, of the wall of frame and basically there's one section of the Pixels Gallery that if your picture shows up on the wall of frame, you get that picture free. Yeah, I think they do three at a time until people come and grab them. Yeah, and so it's like a, like a $15 value. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, on our first cruise, our shipmates, Chris and Heidi, they showed up on the wall of frame. Yeah, and it was such a great picture. It was a great picture. I, I, I think we'll have it. I'll pop it in right here. Um, but yeah, they, they got the picture for free. So uh, if you aren't in the habit, if you're uh, somebody who's cruised before and you're not in the habit of going and checking the wall of frame, make sure you find out where that is in the pixel gallery and uh, see if you get a free picture. Yeah. So. And so the other thing I wanted to ask, and this is something you guys can help me out with, uh, we've only been on the Fantasy Class ships. Uh, I know that some of the newer ships are going to a digital mm -hmm. um, Pixels Gallery. So you actually sit down and put in your folio and your room number. Uh, well, I don't really know how it works, but I, I think you put in something. Right, and then it, it pops up your pictures. Yeah, so a uh, couple questions. How does it work, if you know? And then uh, how, is there a wall of frame on those uh, ships? How does the wall of frame work when the, all the pictures are digital? So, uh, Well, I'm hoping that there is 
<laughs> so leave a, leave a comment below. I'm hoping that there is still the wall of frame, um, but I think that that's a great improvement to see your photographs. Yeah. Because I was always afraid that we were going to miss some that we had taken. There's times where we're like, oh, I thought I got a picture made here and we couldn't find it. Right. So, uh, yeah, I think the digital is going to be uh, pretty cool. Yeah. But, I can't wait. Yeah, wall of frame. So add that one to your uh, cruise lingo. If, you, uh, if you're if you somebody who struggles with cruise lingo, we did make a, a video a while back, actually two of them, cruise lingo volume mm -hmm. one and volume two. Uh, there should be a link to that popping up here or at least down in the description uh, if you if you want to know more cruise lingo. We got we got to make another one and add wall of frame to it. Wall of frame. Make a carnival specific one and add. Uh, Is the wall of frame kind of like the walk of shame? No, oh, no, 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 that's all different, sorry. <laughs> a little side story. I drove Uber for about a year, and uh, every Saturday morning, it seemed like <laughs> it seemed like people. I would drive them back to their car that was parked somewhere, like a bar, and they had the clothes on from the night before. I, I don't know. I don't know if that has anything to do with the walk of shame. But, he uh, used to come home with some doozy of stories. Crazy stories. Mm -hmm. but, well, anyways, guys, uh, that that's all we got for you tonight. I hope you were doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, if you like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? No, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll get notified when new videos come out. And uh, Jenny, you should, you should check us out on Twitter and Instagram at Lolita Loca. We still got those? Well, of course we do. At Lolita Loca? Yeah. Awesome. I need to look at those from time to time. <laughs> and uh, really, I mentioned it before, but if, uh, if you want to get all the fun, uh, come on over to the Lolita Loca cruising community. Uh, that's our Facebook group, open to anybody where we're talking about cruising and uh, if you have questions, uh, questions that we can't answer, uh, there's plenty of experienced cruisers over there that can Absolutely. hook you up. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's, that's all I got tonight. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll see you on the Lido in 96 days. Oh yeah, 96 days. <laughs> we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.